independent candidates backed by jailed ex-prime minister Imran Khan have won the most seats in parliament. The rival Muslim League, led by another former premier, Nawaz Sharif, is in second place. But both groups lack a majority and are seeking coalition partners. Supporters of Imran Khan protesting outside an election office in Karachi. Candidates backed by his PTI party won nearly 100 seats in the National Assembly, more than any of its rivals. But the PTI complains that another 18 seats were stolen in what it calls a rigged vote. I got around 54,000 votes and my nearest rival got only 17,000. We will take this protest to court. We have faith in the judiciary. We hope they will declare candidates victorious as the people voted. That is our demand. PTI supporters say the jailing of the party leader Imran Khan on corruption charges is another example of foul play. The former prime minister and Pakistan's most popular politician was unable to run for office this time. This demonstration is a protest against the forces that have stolen the people's mandate. Against those forces that do not accept public opinion and think they can impose their decisions on us. The PTI's main rival, the Muslim League, run by another former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and backed by the army, gained around 75 seats. Both sides are seeking coalition partners and some voters are also looking for a compromise. Democracy is very important and we are right now in a very, very critical uh, situation, uh, both economically, security-wise uh, and on many other levels. So Pakistan political parties really need to sit together. With Pakistan in the middle of a political and economic crisis, many voters were hoping for a measure of certainty. Without a clear winner, that for now is still out of reach.